Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I often get these emails um, and also instant messages on Facebook and also Instagram. And I often just reply, like I just type back and you know, love on people and reply, right? But now I'm thinking I might start going ahead and taking care of these questions on video. So it's about to storm here in Texas. I hear the thunder. But I really wanted to set some time to decide and go ahead and do this video to answer this wonderful young lady's question. So let's just get into it. All right. So her message said, says, I have heard you mention in prior videos that you should opt to have people in your life who support and uplift you. My parents do not approve of my boyfriend. He makes me very happy and I do not understand what the issue is. My parents are very judgmental and I do not think anyone will ever be good enough, honestly. Should I just distance myself from my parents, in parentheses, not completely cutting them off, but protecting my happiness? What do you think? So I think it is very funny that you asked me this question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what made you ask me, but um, I have um, I have some insight for you. So um, the first thing I would say is to hear them out. Hear what they have to say. You know, it's, yes, I say keep people around you that support you and, up, and uplift you. However, that does not always include saying what you want to hear, right? Just because someone loves you and they want the best for you does not mean that they're always going to agree with the choices that you make in life. And having people in your life who have um, a, a vast perspective on things is golden, to hear different perspectives is just like being in, it's, I, I, I can compare it most to playing a game. So if you're, if you're playing basketball and you're on the court, the only thing you can see is what's in front of you. You can't see what's behind you. You can't see like all the way around you. But the people in the stands, they have a different view. The people on TV, they have a different view. The, the referee, he has a different view. So their views, are valuable. You can't see everything. So I think that is there's a thunder. I think that it's very, very important that um, you don't just consider exing people, not only your parents, but people out of your life because they don't agree with everything that you do and say, right? And also, I think that you should listen to what they have to say because they are your parents. What they think um, I'm, I know that it matters, or else you wouldn't have you wouldn't have sent me this message. Um, they are your parents, and it, they may have some valid points that you may want to consider. All right. Next thing is accept respect only. So if I'm not sure if your if your boyfriend goes around your family or not, um, but regardless, I I've been in a similar situation where. Um, I refuse to have not only my children, but myself and my spouse around anyone who did not respect him. And this was before marriage. Everyone is not going to agree with you, but respect is the bare minimum. Lauren Hill, respect is the minimum. And that's from both sides. Do not open the door for your parents to be disrespected or your spouse, your boyfriend, fiance, I'm not sure. Do not allow that on either side because guess what? You'll be caught in the middle. And that's just unhealthy and, and that's, no, no, that's unacceptable. So it, it should not be a situation where you're placed on the back burner or in a very, very awkward situation where either party is disrespecting another just because of a difference of opinion, right? And one of the last things that I want to mention to you is just to pray and fast, you know? And I'm not solely saying pray. What I'm saying is fast also. And the reason why I say that is not only for peace, um, for your parents, for you, for your boyfriend, but re regardless of what God shows you, and that's my next point, ask. I think that it's really, really important. It takes a boldness to come to God and ask him to show you you know, without a doubt, show me if this is what I need to be in, you know? If, if you have something better for me, if this relationship is not intended for me, show me, and he will. But make sure that you're in a, in a place to receive that 
that's showing. Make sure that you're in a good place to receive him really showing to you that it, you may need to move on, vice versa. And on the other side, if he shows you that this is the man that needs to be in your life right now, then you have to prepare yourself to, to, to stand strong in your decision with your parents not supporting you. And also, you you are an adult. I'm not sure how old you are, but you are an adult. And you have to understand that everything that you do, your parents is not are not going to support you, which I know that you understand that. But the fact that you have to continue on, you still have permission to continue on and live your life. Your mother and father made mistakes, right? They got to live their life and learn, make mistakes by learning. You have that same privilege or else you would not be living. So don't count yourself out um, just because you don't have everyone on board with the life decision. And the last point is choose to be happy. Choose to be happy with either way that you go. It is your life. Again, it is your life. God woke you up this morning for you to live your life and live it more abundantly. God is not the author of confusion. He did not create this chaos. You know where this is coming from. Um, but you also need to make sure that in the midst of the chaos, you're using it to propel you forward with lifelong lessons. If this is something in the situation that you need to, that you didn't think about, don't go in so hard that you're not able to receive. And in the midst of it all, choose to be happy. Choose to enjoy your life. Live your life and be happy. If you opt to stay with your boyfriend, you opt to stay with your boyfriend and you be happy. You respect your parents. You love your parents. You love on your boyfriend. You love on yourself and continue on with life. I mean, life is, we, we like to think that it's this long, long journey that we're going to experience and that's just not promised to us. You know, we have today and we have to make the best of today. I wish you all the best. I I've been close to your shoes with everyone um, not being on board with my relationship. And it's it's not the worst thing in the world um, because in turn, in my situation, I had happiness. My children were happy. I was happy. My boyfriend, now husband at the time, was happy. At the time, I could understand why my family was like, whoa, where did this come from? Because I had just left out of such a toxic, abusive relationship. And now this. So they had valid points. The people who seriously cared about me and the people who I actually listened to had valid points. They didn't try to talk me out of it, but they just wanted to see where my head and my heart was at, what condition was my heart in. And I listened and I considered it. So again, just listen, be receptive, um, and choose to be happy and live your life. Trust yourself and pray about it and know that whatever God shows you to do that you can do, um, and you will enjoy the rest of your life. And if, if, if he, if, if it's something, if it's to transition out of this relationship, he does have something better for you. I love you to pieces and you take care.